get into my truck, finally have my windshield clear of the 300 little notes and stuff. Yeah. And just about ready to put it in gear. I'm on the radio, okay, letting everybody know we're all good to go. And I had to be the number one truck to leave. Officer comes up to my window and he goes, you're not going anywhere. And I look at him. I'm like, excuse me? Yeah. 22 days. You guys have been trying to get rid of us. Well, you got to show me ID and sign a paper saying you'll never return. Like hell I do. Yeah. And a few other words and a few very choice ones. And I ended up saying, you know, you're an embarrassment to your badge. Yeah. I said, don't ask me for forgiveness. Yeah. Go home to your family and ask them yeah. because you'll never get it out of me. You know, and I said, you're two officers in front of my truck. Better move now or they become traction. Yeah. They dove for the side, for the snow bank. You revved it up I put and... it in gear and I'm gone. Yes. And the cops ran and encircled all the other trucks. I didn't see it though. I'm looking ahead. Yes. I'm looking at the road. Yes. You know, slip and slide and it's nothing but slushy snow and... You know, so I'm spinning away, and uh, um, now, was there a path out? Like, how did you get? Well, out? I, I need to be careful how <laughs> going yeah. this route here. Yeah. <laughs> you know a guy. Uh, yeah. I, I know a guy who did this. <laughs> okay, and uh, so he's driving. He's pulling ahead with his truck all by himself. You know, everybody else is is locked up, and uh, he's going across in, in front of the hotel, and uh, there's nobody there yet but makes a left turn just on the other side of the hotel, heading back uh, south towards the Trans-Canada Highway. Okay, it's 10 blocks. All the lights are turned off, so they're all red, solid red. There's officers at every light. There's officers now behind this truck. There's officers trying to come on each side. The truck is swerving up the one side, down the other, you know, and back and forth. this guy made forth. it out of there. This guy made it out somehow. I would, I would personally like to say by the grace of God, because yeah. this guy did not feel like he was even driving. His whole body was nothing but tingling. Yeah. You know, looking in the side mirror, seeing cop cars darting out from each intersection, trying to hit this truck off the road, hmm. this far from fuel tanks, yeah. you know. And a fire truck comes right across in front, you know, and the eyes just go wide. But luckily he was told the next block. So he comes to a skidding stop. Tries backing up while the truck yeah. takes the curb this again, goes up and around. This guy's truck kept going. This guy just kept on going. Wow. Gets to the Trans Canada. It's now a left one way. Okay. Yeah. You're underneath the Trans Canada, actually, yeah. the overpass. Construction, three lanes going down to one, bumper to bumper traffic. Adrenaline, never been so high. This poor guy, I'm surprised mm-hmm. he didn't faint. Mm-hmm. The, the person sitting next to him in the jump seat is screaming, this is Grand Theft Auto, we're mm. all going to die. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, yeah. and I'm figuring, or you know, this person is figuring to himself that uh, this is going to be a very difficult conversation <laughs> here. <laughs> you know, 10 red lights, what's one more? The traffic, that's another story. Yeah. What's going to happen? Lays on the air horn, just pulls it and holds for dear life, starts driving, Moses must have turned up somewhere on the other side of the street because the traffic parted, literally parted. Truck pulls in, seven cop cars with sirens, lights, you name it, stopped at at that intersection. The cars encircle the truck. Don't allow a cop anywhere near and just motors along at a real speedy 30 kilometers an hour. And that was how that person got out help the guy get out 100 percent. This, this city that hated us yeah okay we had a map in our central area showing all the donated rooms and showers and yeah. bathrooms and meals and whatever the city of ottawa was a big black dot yeah you would have needed to zoom in to see individual little houses that did not support us yes. and there was not many yeah 